Gamit, yaar. Bombay is the restaurant capital of India. So how come every Friday night we end up here, eh? Because that's what you do, eh? You go out, you get tanked up on lassies, and you go for an English. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a Friday night if we didn't go for an English, would it? Anyway, I love English food. Ah, get off! You just fancy the waiters, in it? Ah, yeah. Hello. All right, Mike. <laughs> We're ready to order now. I think so. He's feeling unwell. No, don't worry about him. He's fine. He's all right. He's never sick. Yeah, hey, what's your problem, Sunny? Eh? We come here every week and spend lots of money. Eh? You should be grateful. You should be grateful. Shut up. He's all right. He's waiter, you know. He's a mate. I say, Jamez, you're my mate, aren't you, Jamez? Jamez is my mate, you know. It's James. Jams, yeah, that's what I said, damn it. Hey, yeah, hasn't he got lovely pale skin here? Yeah. Mm. It's really nice and pasty, you know. Yeah, but you know what they say about white men, don't you? All right. <laughs> what are we having now? Okay, Jams. All right, first up, we'll have ten. No, ten. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve bread rolls. <laughs> and bring some of that uh, fancy stuff. Um, what are you? Butter. Ah, butter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, main course. What's everyone having here? Yeah? What's the blandest thing on the menu? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the scampi is particularly bland. Sir. I'll have that. And bring a fork and knife. <laughs> Listen, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. I'm going to have the same as him. No. Yeah, uh -huh. Except I'm also going to have prawn cocktail. Hi, hi. <laughs> you said that in the morning. Jam and steak, please. <laughs> Jams. Tell you what, give him the gammon steak, huh? But leave off all your crap and none of your peach halves and the pineapple rings. Not in his condition, you know what I mean? And I'll have the gammon steak as well, but crap on the side, okay? Uh, you know? Yeah. Um. Could I just have the chicken curry, please? Oh, oh God, you know. Come on, it's an English restaurant, yeah. You've got to have something English, no mm. spicy shakes. Mm, but Nitin, you know, I don't like anything too bland here. Well, yeah, have something a little bland, huh? Hey, Jamas, what have you got that is not totally tasteless? <laughs> uh, the steak and kidney pie is only a little bit. Uh, there. there you go, Nina. Steak and kidney pie. <laughs> <laughs> Up. I won't go to the toilet for a week. Nina, that's the point of going for an English. <laughs> so, Amira, what are you going to have? Oh, well, I can't decide between the steak and kidney pea and the cod money. Well, I'll tell you what, you have the cod, I'll have the pea, and we can mix and match. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Chal, uh, yeah. chal, 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 chal. 24 plates of chips. I think you might have ordered too much, sir. What? Hey, Clive of India, who bloody asked you, eh? Just bring us the bloody food or do a mooney. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to this first symposium on the Higher consciousness, transcendental, tantric, karmic, this thing. <laughs> Tonight's lecture will be delivered by his most serene calmness, the Guru Maharishi Yogi, which is me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, many people in the West think that in my country, India, because of our religions, because of our histories, because of I don't know what. But somehow we are more in tune with our spirituality, more at one with the forces of nature. Well, we are. So well done, all those people who said that. <laughs> now, one of the ways in which we gurus like to express our spirituality is in the form of ancient Sanskrit rags. Now, these are very similar to your Christian hymns, but they're more catchy tunes with more chipa. Now, tonight's recitation will be the story of the demon and the mongoose, which tells of the moral dilemma faced by a young man who's committed a terrible crime. 
I will translate from the original Sanskrit as we go along. Atamranangam <laughs> nabajao. Unable to face his friends, the man is telling his mother of his crime. Ravi Svatam Brushed Latrin Ajatam Now it seems what has happened is that he has shot a man in the head from a very close range. Now, the text does not specify the make or caliber of the type of pistol. But I would interpret that it is a small gun. Possibly a .22 or a Saturday night special. Now, oh, for the first time, the text quotes the actual words spoken by the troubled man to his mother. Gavaskar Sohil Nabotham Chandarma Batman in Gotham Now translate it. This is meaning Mama, I just killed a man. Put a gun against his head, put my trigger, now he's dead. <laughs> Mama! His life had only just begun, but now I've gone and blown it all away. <laughs> Galileo, Galileo. This is fierce, man. I can't believe that you got tickets for the Oprah Winfrey show. Man, I didn't even know she was in the country, innit? Well, my uncle works in TV, innit? Wow! Oh, massive, man. What channel? All of them. Hey? He's a repairman, innit? I love Oprah, man. Whoa. When I grow up, right, I want to be like Oprah. Yeah. You mean a middle-aged black woman with a weight problem? <laughs> no, man. Like rich and successful and like a TV moogle, innit? She's the richest woman in the world, man. Whoa, yeah, man. That is because, right, chat shows are massively popular. But do you know why? Is it because of the Manelian acts caused by the disillusion of the commonly held value system, innit? <laughs> no, you bendu! <laughs> it is because, right, a problem aired is a problem shared. It's good to talk. People got problems they want to chat about, innit? You mean like the Ras <laughs> Everyone. So what's your problem, man? Oh, I kiss my chaddies, man. I ain't got a problem. What's your problem? I ain't got a problem, man. Just calm down. You calm down, innit? You calm down, man. No, man, you calm down, man. Now we've aired our problems, innit? <laughs> I feel better already, you know. Man, Oprah can do that. She can make the audience relate to each other. That's why she's the best, man. Better than Ricky Lake. Easy. Better than Montel. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Esther. Even Esther, man. Oh. <laughs> Who do you think, right, would win in a fight? What kind of stupid question is that, man? I'm sorry, man. I'm just wondering. Oprah would kick their sorry talk show butts, man. Cause she's the best, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But have you ever wondered, right, why there's no Asian talk show host? Nah. But it's a good question, isn't it? Because the, because it wouldn't work, innit? Why not, man? Well, imagine it, guy. On tonight's programme, women who run off with their husbands, sisters' husbands. <laughs> and here's your host, Auntie Prem. <laughs> Auntie comes on, first thing she does? Give everyone a top gun, yeah. man! <laughs> and then she said, right, total bestie, man. Oh. You women ain't got no shame, get out of my studio, put up Yeah, and the show credits! Yeah, man, leave it to Oprah. She's coming on, man. <laughs> man, she looked different from the TV, innit? What, 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 what you mean, thinner? No, man, whiter. <laughs>
Hello. <laughs> Mr. Gotham from the Pest Control Agency. You rang earlier? Oh, yeah, thanks for coming. God, we've got mice all over the place. Well, that's what we're here for. Oh, yeah, sorry, come in, come in. I'll show you where the problem is. <laughs> Unusual uniform. Uniform? <laughs> Actually, I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> well, um, I think the mice are nesting under the cooker. Yes, that's quite normal. Well, I'll take it from here. So, what bait are you going to use? Bait? No bait. Oh, right, you use traps, yeah. Traps? I do not use. So, how are you going to kill them, then? Kill? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get rid of them? Ah. Buddha teaches us there is more than one way to get rid of mice. We do not have to stoop to killing. Right, so what are you going to do, then? Well, I intend to make them think again about their actions. <laughs> Hang on. Think again about their actions? How are you going to do that? That's the clever bit. You see, I have brought with me a small bunion tree <laughs> under which the mice will sit in cross-legged contemplation <laughs> until eventually they will reach enlightenment. Right, and that's going to stop them crapping in the bread bin, is it? <laughs> they will reach Nirvana, where there are more enlightened toilet facilities for mice. <laughs> Look, just kill them, will you? I cannot kill them. But if you insist on death, I could try something. But it is an extreme measure. What is it? I could create a very oppressive political regime under your cooker. <laughs> Cause the mice to set fire to themselves in protest. <laughs> Shut up. Now, is there anyone in your firm who kills mice? Well, there's Mr. Kumar. Right, and he kills mice, does he? No. But he'll make them behave so badly that they come back in their next lives as little stones. <laughs> which are much easier to catch. That's great. Get out. OK, 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 OK. If you insist, I can call Mr. Malik. Uh, he'll kill your mice. Oh, really? As long as you don't mind him slitting their throats and hanging them around your kitchen on little hooks. Get out! <laughs> I do hope I'm not intruding on your simple rural rituals. It's just that, you see, I'm visiting from England and I wanted to see something, you know, authentic. Oh, uh, please, uh, come in, uh, Mrs... Come, come uh, Rose, call me Rose. Rose. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely perfect. Uh, what is it that you do in England, uh, Rose? I'm an artefacts buyer for a chain of stores. Oh. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand such decadent Western practices. You're more connected with the flow of the seasons, the pull of the earth and the ripening of the crops. But that's what I do. That's my karma, I suppose. Karma! <laughs> <laughs> I must say, what's that over there? Oh, what that rusty old bell you mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my great grandmother's birthing bucket. <laughs> Three generations of downtrodden dung handlers have squatted over its rim. It is uh, over here because we like looking at it and crying. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you could really appreciate it. It was mounted on a plinth with subtle backlighting. Don't you think? <laughs> I've lost you, haven't I? <laughs> I do apologise. I'm sorry. Oh, may I sit down? Oh, no, please. Not on my maternal uncle's prayer seat. <laughs> I, I thought it was a debt chair. I suppose... You'll be telling us that this is a Formica coffee table with the leg missing. Well, 
it is a 200 year old bullock slide. You see, the bullock climbs up here and slides through the middle of the gap there. You must think I'm stupid. Uh, well, anyway, you see, I, mean, I am so stupid not to have seen how precious these things are to you. I mean, this whole house tells a story. Yeah. That thing on the wall over there that, to my Western eyes, looks like a can opener is... Uh, an authentic turbine winder. <laughs> the pattern bedspread over here. A traditional Hessian covering woven by blind Punjabi widows. The pattern looks quite familiar. Yes, it is amazing how our ancient gods look so much like the Power Rangers. <laughs> I know this is presumptuous of me, but this whole house is a monument to authentic India, and, well, I could offer you a sizable amount of... Oh, no. You'd never sell your heritage. What am I thinking? How, How much? Two thousand pounds? <gasps> Let me help you load your Land Rover. <laughs> Don't forget me. But are those cowpats? Coasters. Authentic. <laughs> Oh, my God! Everybody, come over here! Come over here! Oh, what? 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 I made a small offering of milk in this katori to the statue, and now the milk has gone! Leaving just a chalky white deposit and a strange smell. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Hang on. When did you put it there? about three weeks ago. He's evaporated, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No miracle. Oh. Wait a minute! Everyone, come here, quick, quick, quick! Oh, what? 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 This morning, I placed the agarbati in front of the statue, and now all that's left is a pile of ashes and a strange smell. It's a very... <laughs> Did you light it? Well, of course. And it's just burnt down, leaving the smell of incense. That's what joysticks do, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. But wait! <gasps> no, sorry, never mind. No. It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Everyone! It's a miracle! I left. An insane, <laughs> spicy bean burger, happy meal near the statue. And now it's gone, leaving just some of these pieces of gherkin. Oh. And a strange smell. Well? Well, well uh, I don't know. It's, it's a a Hang on! Hang on! What's that on your chin? Uh, mayonnaise. And how did it get there? <clears throat> I, I ate the Happy Meal. Oh. Oh. Yes, but what about the strange smell? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on, look at everybody. Why do we need a miracle? I mean, isn't your faith enough? Would it be any stronger if the gods performed some trivial magic trick for you, huh? No. No. <laughs> wait, wait, look! The statue is moving! It's coming alive! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Forgive me for doubting you. I humble myself before you. You are forgiven, my child. Now, pick a card. <laughs> Okay, 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 guys, settle down, settle down. Now, as you all know, we here at Sachi and Juta pride ourselves on taking on tough advertising campaigns and winning. Yeah. Hmm? They all said we couldn't sell toilet paper to the villages. <laughs> but we did it, damn it, thanks to Ravi's sketchy slogan. Yeah, Ravi's the man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys, it is nothing really. Oh, come on, yeah, it was master. <laughs> Why take two lotas into the field when you can wipe and go? And this is the big one, guys. This morning, we landed 
the feminine account. Right, yes, we will be the first ad agency in India to promote feminine tampons. <laughs> That's great, Ronnie. Isn't it, guys? Uh, well, absolutely, yeah. It's a chance to give modern choices to the modern Indian woman. So, ideas. Uh, Neelam. What? <laughs> Well, I just thought, you know, you're the woman on the creative team, so... Right. So now I'm some sort of feminine hygiene guru, is that it? Ask one of the bloody men for a damn change. Where's <laughs> my Neurofen? <laughs> Any ideas from the English campaign on this product, Rani? Oh, yes, you see, now, they've got a beautiful girl jumping out of an aeroplane in a skin-tight lycra suit singing, It's my life! <laughs> well, I don't think we want to confuse our women with fancy aerial tactics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think of the mess, hand. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Please, guys, come on, yeah, grow up. Hey, Ronnie's right, OK? It's a perfectly natural product for a perfectly natural physiological process. Right. What do you mean, exactly? <laughs> you know, natural process, the woman's thing. Yes. And this feminine thing is for that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh, oh, thing. oh, for oh, God's God. sake. Just have a look at the product and then tell me what you think. <laughs> oh, God. I feel sorry for women, you know. It can't be much fun having to swallow one of these every month. Huh? You... Oh, no! It doesn't go in the mouth. Really? Where does it go? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, we'll have to stick a health warning on the packet. Why? Only to be used by married women. Ah, we don't want hundreds of angry fathers knocking on our door. Uh, with a pundit. Exactly. Mm. They'll put a health warning on you, dung breath. I'm sorry! I've got it! I've got the ad! Great, great, Ram. Share it with the room, yeah. OK, OK. Mm. We start off with some tinkly music. Right, right. A sort of housewife tum ti tum ti tum theme, OK, right? And then you see a waft into frame. Great, who? Today's modern Indian woman. Yes. Dressed in a full-length burqa with a big bell around her neck and a sign which says, unclean, unclean. <laughs> and she's so disgusted with herself, she runs into the nearest shop and buys a packet of ta-da thing. <gasps> ah, that's brilliant, yeah. And we can give away a big bell with every packet of thing. Ah, and ah. the slogan, OK? This thing for that thing. With a ding. Over the ding. Excuse me. Don't touch me! <laughs> What's wrong with her? Time of the month. I thought it was 4.30. I say, Shashi, Veena and Sarjeet are here. It's not Shashi, it's Charlotte. And for God's sake, get their names right. OK, 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 calm down. I know what I am doing. <clears throat> uh, Sarjeet! <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so nice of you to invite us. So nice of you to come. <laughs> oh, well, we wouldn't miss the Kapoor's barbecue for the world. Hey, pronounced Koopa. <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what perfect weather you've chosen for a barbecue. Mm, it's simply marvellous. If anything, it's a little too hot, wouldn't you say, Dennis? Uh, well, I believe that mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. <laughs> and after all, my husband is uh, an Englishman. Which must make you the man. Another jug of pims, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, could we... Uh, Dennis? De Dennis? Oh, oh, so sorry, old chappy. Just keeping an eye out for that mad dog you mentioned. <laughs> Sounds a bit dangerous, what? There is no mad dog, Dennis. It is a line from a song by Noel Coward. Oh, I knew that! I knew that! Buggers all round, eh? So, where is that son of yours, Subhash? Uh, you mean Man Sebastian. Sebastian. <laughs> yes, I take it he's turning up to his own homecoming party. <laughs> I say, here he is. I say, Sebastian. Oh. Come and say hello, oh. hey? Hello, <laughs> Uncle Surajit, Auntie Veena. <laughs> Sinjin and Vanessa, you little. <laughs> so, how is Master Cooper these days? It's pronounced Kapoor, right? Oh! <laughs> Wag. Oh. So, um, I hear you've been travelling all around India, Subha... 
sea bass. Hmm? Yeah, I wanted to go back to my roots. We are Indian, after all. <laughs> Why don't you go and have a lie down, Sebastian? You're obviously jet lagged. Look, there's nothing wrong with being Indian. <laughs> have I mentioned the weather, old PP? <laughs> For God's sake, we're Indian. We're the Kapoors. You're the Robindranaths. Robinsons! Oh, please. <laughs> You were born here, brought up here. We we sent you to a bloody expensive public school. <laughs> we both thought you were the perfect English gentleman. Well, I'm not English. Yes, sir, Bakwase. Any of you fancy a game of croquet? Ball? Yes. The Morrison dancing? <laughs> I mean, you're not fooling anyone. You're serving pims with courgettes in it. <laughs> you haven't even lit the charcoal. All that meat is completely raw. <laughs> Evacuate to your lavatorial conveniences. Evacuating, <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May I say how honored I am to be at this World Symposium for the Mutual Understanding of Transcendental Collective Consciousness, this thing? May I also say what a deeply penetrating pleasure it is to be able to pass off on my divine knowledge to you spiritually flatulent Westerners. <laughs> now, as you may know, Hinduism is a fascinating network of philosophies, legends, and nice tunes. <laughs> all enmeshed by gurus such as myself. You're welcome. I will now take the first question. Uh, Guruji, could you tell us about the elephant god Ganesh? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a, a wonderful story. It's magical and uplifting. I will translate from the original Sanskrit. <clears throat> Maratha Prantha. Or a can of Fanta. You see, uh, he had a trunk like an elephant. <laughs> Ears, same, like an elephant. <laughs> Except his ears were very big, you see, because he was a god. You see? And all the other elef gods used to laugh at him, and there was a little mouse that lived in his hat. Right? <laughs> With the magic feather, oh, like that. And then there was a cross, and, and they had just been done seen about anything since they saw an elephant fly. <laughs> and everything was of the very nice. <laughs> Next question. Well, what about Hanuman? <laughs> Mon monkey god, right? Right, 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 right. Well, this is also a fascinating parable that shows us the need to discover our inner journey and also other stuff. <laughs> Amitav na bachan, Starsky na hachan. Madhuri, Madhuri, Choli ka nachan. You see, uh, uh, he was the uh, leader of the monkeys. Uh, he was the king of the swingers, in fact. And, um, and, he, and he said he, he, he kidnapped the, the Mowgli, Sita. He said, Mridangam na bajao, halwa na banao. Which means, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to be like you. Ooh, ooh. And, and also, also, there was the Sher Khan and, and the Not Yet Baloo and, and the vultures from the Liverpool and everything was of the very nice. Uh, hang on. Uh, really? Meditation. Ooh. 